If you are receiving an unable to connect error on your Quilter's Creative Touch software, here is how to fix it. You'll notice this error that says we're unable to connect to the automated quilting system. It does say try to connect by power cycling the carriage, click cancel, and then restart the program. Or you can click OK by running in simulation mode. Simulation mode means that you are not connected to the system. You're still able to use the software, but you won't be able to quilt. In simulation mode, you'll notice this red not connected. That means that you're running in simulation mode and that the machine is not connected to the quilt motion system. The most common issue for an unable to connect error is cabling. If your cabling is not connected to the quilt motion system, then you will not be able to connect to the software. There are two cables to the quilt motion system. First is the USB B cable, it is the angled cable, and it will go into this first board. This one is a little difficult to get in, so you just want to make sure that it goes in and clicks. You may also hear that dinging sound, that means that you're connected. The second cable is our sewing cable, and it looks like a telephone cable. It will go into this second board right here. You do want to make sure that one clicks. If you're receiving an unable to connect error with the cables plugged in, let's go as far as removing and replacing the cables. You'll want to make sure that you hear them click. Once these cables are installed, you want to check that the other side of the cables are plugged in correctly. The USB-B cable will follow this up and this will go into your tablet. I want to make sure that the USB-B cable is plugged into your tablet. The second cable is a sewing cable. This will go directly from your quilt motion all the way up to your machine. You want to make sure that this is plugged into the correct spot and you can go as far as removing and replacing it until you hear it click. Once your cabling is good to go, we want to make sure that the machine is turned on and that the quilt motion is turned on. The machine will be on with the eye. The O is off, the I is on. With the power strip in the back, it will have a light indicator. However, if the light indicator is off, there is an on and off option here too. So you can see that it is on. Once we check the cabling, we can open our software and see if we continue to receive an error. Click no to run out of simulation mode. If you get this message and your cabling is good, this may be due to a Windows update error. We use Windows drivers to facilitate communication between the software and your sewing machine. So if those drivers are not updated through Windows updates, then it will essentially cut that connection. To get to your Windows updates, exit out of your software and make sure that your tablet is connected to the internet. To run Windows updates, tap on the home button, then the gear settings, then on the left-hand side, click Windows Update. You will notice that there is an update, so we do want to download and install. You can turn this on if you'd like, and then go ahead and run all updates that are available. This may take several attempts as Windows updates like to build on each other and some won't be available until the previous updates are ran. And you may have to restart your tablet several times. Keep checking for Windows updates until your tablet says that you are up to date. Once your tablet says you're up to date, exit your settings and reopen your software. Once you see this message pop up, that generally means that you are connected. You'll want to make sure that your sewing machine needle is up and you want to move your carriage to the center of your sewing area. That means back to front and side to side. Then press OK. Once you hit OK, you'll notice a sound coming from your motor plate. The motor plate is checking the gears and then you will notice the machine moving a little bit forward and to the left. This means it's checking the belts. Your software then will open completely and you'll notice the green connected button. That means you are connected. If you have any other questions or issues, please contact Grace Company Tech Support.